Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a get ready with me and I have been sick. <laughs> I will try to edit out all like the sniffles, if I start to cough, if I sneeze, everything like that. I'm trying to cut it out. But if I miss something, I am so sorry. But I am on the way to get better. I, a week ago, I like almost lost my voice. <laughs> So I haven't recorded any videos for like over a week and it always feels a little bit strange to be back even if it just has gone a week and I guess that you haven't noticed anything because I have pre-recorded a lot so yeah because last weekend me and my boyfriend we were at a spa um, and I was sick at the spa so fun, very very fun. So I had to like pre-record and everything because of that and then I got sick and now I have been sick for a week so yeah. Okay, <laughs> that was not what this get rid with, with me was going to be about. Uh, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to use the Saharan palette and I don't really know what to do. But I will use it and maybe I write in the description what I use, maybe not. I haven't decided it. And I haven't completely decided what I want to do, but I think I know and I need another brush. So okay, it's some things that I want to talk about in this Get Red With Me. We can start with one thing that is like oh, sorry, the easiest to just speed through. Um, in October and maybe the start of November, I don't know how many videos I can put up. Because I am going to work. Um, okay. The long story or the short story? Or am I going to try to do a middle thing? Okay, I am going to... At my work, I work at a warehouse. And they are opening a new warehouse in Sweden. Um, the place I work for. <laughs> the company I work for. And I am going to go to the new warehouse and help them to start up. The, the department I work at, I'm going to help the department at the new place to start up. I really hope you get what I mean. And lucky for me, it's this warehouse is opening from the, in the town that I am from. So I'm going to live at home with mostly my dad, but also a little bit with my mom for two weeks, the last two weeks of October I think it is, and I am not going to take my camera with me, my makeup or anything, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to pre-record so much that I can fill up maybe three weeks I was like on a good roll, but then I became sick, so everything like just affected up. So maybe there will be fewer videos. I will try to at least have something up, but I want to spend time with my friends and my family these two weeks. So maybe I try to pre-record and maybe edit well while I'm at my dad's. I don't know yet and yeah so we will see so if something happens in October now you know why if there not will be any videos but I will try but I can't promise anything and also I have started to like think about if I want to do like 31 days of videos in December <laughs> but I thought that and then I was like I'm never going to be able to do that but A little part of me can't like let it go and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off because I am not that good at planning but I think I will at least try and see if it's, if it's even workable for me I don't know yet I just throw it out there maybe nothing will happen with it but <laughs> a little part of me has been like want to try that 
And other than that, not that much has happened because I have been sick. I don't know if I have any videos now that I can put up. It's Saturday now when I'm recording this. My boyfriend isn't home. He is at one once a month he has like a meetup with his cigar club. And that's like my alone time. And I am a person that likes to be alone. I am an introvert, um, super much an introvert, like 100% an introvert, it's still called introvert in English. I hate to be in the center of tension. <coughs> I can't be with too much people. Like, I like my colleagues at work, but I like need to be alone and in silence when I come home because it drains me. To be around people the whole day and then do something after work. I don't know how like some people can be at work, hang out with colleagues and then meet up with friends. Of course, I, with my friends, I like to hang out with my friends. And like when Jessica was here and we recorded our Get Ready With Us, I got energy from that, but... Others than my friends that I like to spend time with, it likes drains me. And I like to be home, I like my home, I love my bed, my cats, my boyfriend, he's like the only person that I can stand for like forever. Does that sound sad? <laughs> Okay, and something else I want to just... Like, I hate when people are doing like these excuse videos or explain videos. But I have talked about for a long time. Um, it was like six months ago and then like maybe three weeks ago. I mentioned then that I wanted to do a video where I talked about Kat Von D and Jeffree Star on Wet n Wild. That video has never came up and I have actually tried to record it two times before. But it, it doesn't feel like I can get out what I want because it's such a sensitive subject. And I don't want to step on any toes and I don't really know where I stand. So I know that I've talked about this video and it has never came up, but I am wanting to do something with it, but I don't really know how. And I was like, maybe I should talk about this in this video, but I, it feels like I have to prepare myself for it. I don't know why, but I know somewhat what I think. But I am not like completely sure with what I think, so I don't know if I want to do it. But maybe I can like try to start a little bit. Because, disclaimer, I don't... You can think, what, think and feel whatever you want. This is my thoughts, my feelings, how I look on these brands. And these are my opinions. You can have yours. I can listen to your opinion, but your opinion is your opinion and my opinion is my opinion. I am like one of these people. I don't... Okay. <laughs> don't misunderstand me. I don't give a rat's ass what you think. I, I care what you're thinking. But I have my opinions and you have your opinions. You can try to convince me, but if I'm not, I'm not easily convinced. And I can listen to others' opinions, but just tell me your opinions and leave it. I think this came a little bit with, I am a vegetarian and I have been for like 18 years. I have never never in this 18 years tried to convince anybody to be a vegetarian. No, not a single time in this 18 years. 
but people has tried to convince me or wanted to st start like a discussion with me about being a vegetarian and I'm like I don't want to talk about it if I wanted to talk about it I would have already tried to convince you about eating vegetarian no meat but I have not done it so please leave me alone I really hope you understand what I mean I am like that person I have my opinions you have your opinions we can discuss our opinions but we are not trying to push anything on each other and I'm not going to hate you for having your opinions because your opinions is your opinions okay some things I don't never ever ever will agree on like hitting women hitting children hitting each other these things um but other than that just we have our own opinions and our own opinions are built on our own how we live the world or how we see the world okay longest friend ever i'm just going to shut up about that so okay that's how i am as a person so i maybe i should just say i will leave my opinions on controversial brands and you can have yours we can discuss them but we don't need to be angry on each other and now the laundry is done I am not going to fix that now. We can discuss, but no hard words, nothing like that. So, okay, we can maybe start with the thing that I am most comfortable to talk about, and that is Wet n Wild. So, Wet n Wild has been one of my favorite brands. I really have loved Wet n Wild. I haven't tried that much, but the things I have tried, so good. They are cheap, they are most of their products are vegan i think but then i don't remember when it happened it came out that wet and wild is selling in mainland china and i am not an expert on this and i have talked or i have read things and it feels like people don't know everybody has their own opinions Okay, this was maybe a strange, strange color to use. And some people say that yes, they can still sell in mainland China without testing on animals. And others are like, no, they can't and stuff like that. And I don't know how it really is. I think now, 2019, that, is, that it is possible for... Um, brands to sell in main sh mainland China without having to test the products on animals. I don't know how long Wet n Wild has been selling in mainland China so I don't know if they have gone around this law or not. I don't know. I'm not an expert and people say all the different things. But a problem for me is that Wet n Wild has lied. I don't care about Okay, a little bit, but the big thing for me is that Wet n Wild have lied about this. They have said so many times that they not sell in China. And then it came out that they do. And then they were trying to repair the damage. Damage control. And I'm like, it's too late. You have already lied. For me, you've broken my trust. I don't know how you can rebuild this. So that's where I'm standing with Wet n Wild. I still have their products because I'm not one of these person that like throw all my things away just because I'm not support brand anymore. But I'm not going to talk about them. I'm not going to buy any more new things from Wet n Wild. I am going to use the things that I have because I think it's a waste of both money and resource real both money and products to just throw them away but i'm not going to like promote oh shit i'm not going to promote them on my channel anymore maybe i use something but then i don't talk about it when it comes to wet and wild because if you didn't know i have a cruelty free channel so yeah that's where i stand with wet and wild are we going to touch the hot 
to pay it now. If we go into Kat Von D. And some of these things that I'm going to say about Kat Von D can also apply on Jeffree Star. I think that Kat Von D and Jeffree Star, they are two very strong personalities that is... I don't think that either one of them has like a training in how to act professional. I think a lot of indie brand owners, you, it's, it's noticeable that they don't have gone like in training. Like if a politi politician, they go like in training to be a politician and they know how to act and what to say in, what to not say in public environments and I don't feel that either Kat Von D or Jeffree Star they haven't got any training they have said many stupid things but I also feel that you need to separate the brand and the owner even though like Jeffree Star and Kat Von D they are like their own brands they are like presenting their own brand, representing their own brands. But also, <laughs> I, me, and I think a lot of other people, I am not the same person at work that I am with my friends and my boyfriend. I don't think nobody is, because like my boyfriend and my friends, they know where I stand in life and they know my opinions, they knew, they know my like, what I feel about different things and I can make joke about things that is not okay to joke about, but I only do that with people that I know, know where I stand in life. I really hope that you get what I mean and I think that like, the most of you that are watching this can agree with me that you can joke and say things with your closest friends that you can't say it like work. Because I think that is like the normal for people that is like you have a professional you and then you have a personal you. But the problem I feel especially with Kat Von D and Jeffree Star, they don't separate these two things. Different things with being personal and being private I hope that is the correct term in English and I don't feel that they know how to and that is what have fucked it up for both of them. Okay, I need to blow my nose because the, the sickness is coming. And if you ever have wonder how it is like blow your nose with a septum ring, it's just like how it is with a normal nose. The only thing is well, I had a bigger septum before and then it was hard when it like take up too much space in your nose. Okay, um, so where were I? Yeah, it feels like they don't separate like they, their personal opinions and feelings with the brand. It feels like they are too much like their own brand. I, like if we take a bigger brand, if we take, if you take like Maybelline for example, I don't even know what the owner of Maybelline, I don't know the name of the owner and maybe they have a shit loads of garbage and shit in their baggage, but they don't talk about it in like out in the open. <laughs> So we don't know. So I think that is a problem with both Kat Von D and Jeffree Star and a lot of others. And like this whole anti-vax thing with Kat Von D, I feel that you are stupid if you don't want to vaccinate your kids because that is what has saved us. And like in Sweden, you don't have to. But I think that even some schools in Sweden are like if you don't vaccinate your kids, or like daycares, if you don't vaccinate your kids, they can't be here. And I get it, because we that can be vaccinated, we need to like save the ones that can't. Uh, and 
Chesley, if you don't want to vaccinate your kids, just keep it to yourself. The whole world doesn't need to know about it. And that is like a thing that you should hold in your private life. And you can still be personal with people, but you can still keep something private. And then when the whole shit blew up with she didn't respond to people the way you should. Um, I don't, I'm not that into what happened exactly, but I know that the, she didn't like respond to people in a mature way. And that is also a big problem. And that's where I feel like she should be like a Kat Von D brand personality and a Kat Von D people or person personality. Like the Kat Von D herself and Kat Von D the brand, Kat Von D. So there I think it was like, just shut the fuck up Kat Von D, don't make it worse. But then when people started to like dig in her, in her past life and like her ex-boyfriends and stuff, I was like, stop it. You cannot be responsible for whatever a person that you have been with has done before. And also, I don't know, she was not in a good place in her life, you would say it like that. And no, it doesn't excuse anything, but I feel that you can have a little bit more understanding. I feel that you can have a little bit more understanding. You should not forgive every, everyone for everything, but if a person is suffering from an addiction, it can explain certain things, it doesn't forgive them, it just explains things. So maybe that's where I stand with Kat Von D. I, or that was just my, <laughs> I never said. So with Kat Von D, I don't use her products on camera. I haven't used them. I use some lipstick in my personal life and that's how it is with that. I used her, what is it even called? Eyebrow powder. And I used it up because it was good. I'm not going to buy it again because I don't support her anymore. Because I don't... One thing is that I don't think she has fun things anymore. When this all anti-vax thing happened, it felt like the brand like lost its edge for some reason. I don't know. And also... It's nothing you want to see. It's I don't feel that I am missing out on things. So I don't I don't know where I stand. I use her products off cam, not on cam. I don't talk about the products. I don't like say I hate Kat Von D. I am just like meh. I'm like meh. Okay, okay, I'm going to take away the fallouts, wash my sponge, and then I will be back so I can do my face makeup while I'm talking, so I'm just not sitting here and talk with like half finished eyes. And it feels like this is going to be like the longest video ever. So okay, sh <laughs> should I try to talk a little bit about Jeffree Star then? And I'm not even going to try to go in with all the things that people think are wrong with Jeffree Star because I don't have the time and neither do you. I support Jeffree Star more than I support Kat Von D, I think, but that's because he has more fun things that Kat Von D has. Kat Von D is just like feel like a brand that I'm not interested in. And it's a lot of brands that I'm not interested in. If we start though, I I use some of his lipsticks on cam and I really love his lipsticks. It's some of the best liquid lipsticks I know. And I I feel that he has done something some really strange things, but also he it feels like he has in some way better like explain himself than Kat Von D has and I know it feels sometimes that people just want to hate him they don't like listen to what he say they just want to hate him and I 
I don't like things like that. I don't like when people just hate others just because you're supposed to. And right now, you free star feels a little bit like that, that people are like watching down on your free star. P on your free star on people that like Jeffree Star and I have never understand that. I feel a little bit like I don't use animal tested products and I don't look down on people that do because it's their choice, it's their life, it doesn't make them... I don't hate them for that. Like I don't hate people that eat meat because it's your choice. My choice is not to eat meat. But my choice is my choice in my life, and your life is your life and your choices. And it feels like people are... It feels like it has been a little bit easier around if we start the latest. I know there is a little bit of Shane Dawson and everything. But for a while it felt like a witch hunt on people that like Jeffree Star. And I never... I can't stand that behavior and I can't stand when people like would hate comments if you don't like anything if you don't like something that a person is doing just stop watching them you don't need to tell people what you don't like about them and it feels like people have a hard time to know the difference between coming with critique, constructive criticism, and coming with hate. It feels like people can like, you look ugly in blue. It's just uh, no hate. And it's like, yeah, but that's just what it is. You look ugly in blue, that's hate. It's, it doesn't give anybody anything. And that's what I feel like with Jeffree Star, that people I don't get this witch hunt with people that like Jeffree Star um, and people that don't. Just leave people alone. Not everybody needs to know your opinions on everything. You don't have to throw it in the face of people. If you don't like him, just don't use his things. Simple as that. So I don't care if you Love you, free star. You do you and I do me. So, do I support him or not? I actually don't know. I have no idea. I... I haven't bought anything else than liquid lipsticks and lip scrubs. That's all I have ever bought from you, free star. I want to buy more liquid lipsticks and I don't know, maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever going to buy a palette. I don't know. I... I don't know. This was so informative. You really know where I stand. But with Jeffree Star, I actually don't know where I stand. I don't know... I don't know what I feel. Um, I have not cancelled him, but I still don't like promote his things. I don't love his. I'm just going to. I don't love him. I don't hate him. He's just a brand for me. One thing I do like about Jeffree Star that is he wants. It feels like he. Maybe he doesn't do anything that is like unique for an indie brand, but he does things that are unique for big brands. He is still an indie brand, but I feel like he is not like... If you compare like Blush Tribe or Certify, and then Jeffree Star, it's two completely different sizes of indie brands. And I like that he have the guts and are brave enough to do more things that smaller in the brands does because other big brands are taking after him it feels like and I love that about Jeffree Star I talked a little bit about this in my five brands that excite me five brands that don't 
uh, I can leave it up here if you want to see it. See, I am more like positive about Jeffree Star than Kat Von D. But Kat Von D is also a little bit just because I... I don't think they are coming out with fun things anymore. Okay, I, I don't know if anybody... <laughs> like... Listen to all of this. If you do, congratulations! Um, but this is, I don't know where I stand. I know that I don't want to buy anything new from Wet n Wild because <laughs> being cruel to free and don't test on animals is something that is really, really important to me. That is like the most important thing for me when it comes to makeup. And I guess that you have to like know for yourself what you are what is the most important for you maybe that is that the owner of the brand doesn't have any skeleton in the wardrobe <laughs> or is like a 100% good person I don't think they exist though but I hope you get what I mean I think it really depends on what you think is the most important and for me it is to be cruelty to free do I want to add something more? Yeah, okay, I can take... I I don't know if I even want to talk about this, but I do it. Sometimes, like with the cancel culture and the hate train, like I, I like to call it the hate train and not the cancel culture. Um, it feels like some people maybe love Kat Von D, but they are so afraid to get hate, so they don't want to talk about Kat Von D, and I think that is sad. I think that is like some kind of like bullying, bullying, and I it makes me sad every time I watch somebody and they use maybe Kat Von D, and then they get comments like, "Yeah, I liked you before." But now when you use the Kat Von D product, I am never going to watch any of your videos again. And for me that is like... First off, did you have to tell them, the person that? Just unsubscribe. And second of all, I don't think that that changed a person. That is for me a strange thing to do. And also like when it happened with old Kat Von D, people that throw away everything they had that was from Kat Von D. I just think it's such a waste of it's such a waste of money and it's such a waste of products. Sell them if you don't want them but just don't throw away like completely perfect things. It's not good for the environment that I I think I never will understand that. If you are a person that did it, I'm okay with that. But my opinion is that it's like a big waste of of everything. Okay, I don't know if I want to talk about this more. I don't know. The people that wanted me... I need that thing. I hope that you that are watching me and wanted me to talk about this is a little bit satisfied at least. I... <coughs> like the short version of it, I don't know where I stand. With Wet n Wild I don't want to support them but I'm not going to throw away my products I have but I'm not going to show it on my channel. Kat Von D, I don't know where I stand. I don't buy things from her, I don't want things from her because it doesn't interest me a bit. And Jeffree Star, I can buy things but it's not a favorite brand of mine. Is that maybe a good conclusion? And also a big, I don't know, <laughs> around both Kat Von D and Jeffree Star. So I really hope that you thought that that was like a good, I don't even know. It's going to be fun and edit this and see if I can use it. Because, as I said, I have tried before and it was like... Not good.
but now I have it off for so long, so I guess that I have to put it up. Maybe we should talk about something else, I don't know. But it feels like I have, like, said the things that I want to say. We should put it like that. But maybe I should finish this face because I, like, never do it in my Get Ready With Me's and that maybe is a little bit awkward. It always feels... Like, as I said, I haven't filmed for over a week. And it feels like I'm, like, a little bit un... I don't know how to act in front of the camera. And it has only, like, gone a week. And that makes me understand how addicted I am to this. How much I really like this YouTube thing. I don't know how to do this, but... I really want to thank all of you that are watching me and are commenting on my videos, liking my videos, like my pictures on Instagram, all of you that support me. It feels like I am bad at responding and bad at showing my appreciation. Is it even called that? And I feel like I am a bad friend, both to my real friends in real life and also all of you my internet friends. <sighs> but it's just like, okay, Jessica said, I, I watched a video with Jessica today and she said like a thing that was like spot on, on how I feel. And she said something like, don't quote me on this, I'm not happy, I'm not sad, I'm just tired and like a little bit disorientated. She didn't use the exact words, but that is how I feel and it feels like I've felt it for a long time. But at the same time, I feel... I have suffered from, okay, I don't even know if I want to talk about this. I have suffered f of anxiety, like, more than half of my life. And now I am finally in a better place, but I still feel a little bit lost. And this is maybe going to sound weird for you that haven't experienced anxiety. Um, but I was so used to not feeling good and not feeling well and not be happy that now when I am kind of happy at least, I feel lost and it's like that I want to go back to the time when I wasn't happy. This sounds so strange if you haven't ever had any mental issues. Um, because it's it was for such a long period of my life. It was like this feeling I know. And I am like okay with this feeling. But now when I'm feeling better for like the first time in 15 years, it's like I don't know how, I don't know how. But I feel if you have ever suffered from anxiety or depression or anything else like that, I think that you know what I mean. It feels so strange to feel good. It's like I'm only waiting for the big hit, for the big punch in the face. I'm waiting for it and I am so afraid that it will come soon. I really hope that it doesn't, but a part of me is so afraid that this feel-good train is going to hit a wall. I don't even know if this is like a condition or not, but I think that kids can have like this night scares. 
nattskräck. It's called Swedish. It's like night scares. Um, and it's also one thing that's called sleep paralyzed, sun paralysis. I have suffered for from something like that. I don't even know what it is. I have now it was super long time ago and I'm so happy that it seems like it's not happening anymore. I was like having nightmares and I woke up but I didn't woke up. Like I my body was awake but like my mind was still see the things in my nightmare. Of I'm so happy. I, I don't... It hasn't happened for like six months now and I'm so happy because that is so freaking scary. I woke, wake up all like sweaty, panicking, like wake up my boyfriend. It's like one, <laughs> one nightmare I had, I dreamt that I was like in a big container with dead people maybe I should stop listening to murder podcasts uh, in a container with dead people and it was arms and legs everywhere and when I woke up it was like it was arms and legs in the whole bed I was in total panic and like woke my boyfriend up it's like it's legs and arms everywhere haven't had it for a long while so happy for that I talked about that I was going to have a new schedule at work and I have had it um, for months now. I just come to spray. I have had it for a month now and I start at six o'clock AM and I never thought that I would say that this but I love it. It's like who the hell am I? Because now I <laughs> When I, I go up at like 5 o'clock in the mornings and I am listening to a podcast even though that is kind of scary now because as you may know I love murders and I am listening to only like murder podcasts and to listen to that and then go out when it's still dark outside and go into your car I like run to the car go in the car lock the doors and then I go to work yeah that's a little bit scary but I really like this to have like one hour for my own every morning so I eat my overnight oats <coughs> listen to a podcast do my morning routine run to the car <laughs> and go to work and like it's me and some other of my colleagues that start at six but like everything is we open the warehouse for i work as a consignee so i talk with drivers all day and we open at seven o'clock so that hour at work first hour or 40 minutes at home that I am all like alone and doing my morning things and then the hour at work that is a little bit quiet not so stressful I really love it so it's gone so good to start at 6 in the morning and I really hope that this schedule will be forever because I really like it and it feels like I have more time now even though I go to bed earlier but it has helped me I feel better and I never thought that I was I have always been like I'm not a morning person and when I was younger, I was definitely not the morning person, but I'm like at the same time, who are? And I am, I think I've started to become a morning person that I don't know where this came from. Like today it's 
Saturday and I went up like half past seven because I woke up all by myself. So I went up, um, watched some YouTube, eat some breakfast, and just chilling. And I really like it and it's like who who have I become who is this person that likes to be up early in the morning I don't know but I think I like this person maybe it's because I'm older maybe I have always been a morning person but in denial the only thing I don't like with my new schedule at work is that I can't look at everything I want to look at some programs start at 9 p.m. and I want to be at bed at 9 p.m. Okay, and another thing I want to talk about, I just remembered. If you have stayed for this long, I'm so sorry for this long. Get ready with me. I talked about this a little bit before. I don't know where it ended up, but I feel like a bad friend. Um and I'm so sorry for, I have not been commenting, I have not watched YouTube as much as I usually do. And I am so sorry for that. But it has been now I wanted to pre-record and I want to be like <laughs> on top with my YouTube. And also try to beat with my Instagram, it's going like shit on Instagram though. So it feels like I've been a bad friend and I am so sorry and I am going to try to be better but also I don't think I am this is a whole different subject because I'm a, because I am an introvert and because that I am the person that I am I still can really really like you and still consider you like one of my best friends even though we maybe doesn't talk for two months because for me it doesn't you have to cherish a friendship yes but not like every day and all the time and that's how i work but i know that what is linda harberg doing here I don't know that I know that not everybody is like that and maybe I have to like explain myself a little bit. Okay. How is it going with this super long get ready with me? This must be the longest get ready with me I have ever done. It feels like and congratulations once again if you have made it this far. I will put on some mascara and some lipstick and then I will come back and like say goodbye so I will fix that off cam because if I do it on cam I will poke my eye with a mascara wand I can promise you that so I fix this off cam and then we come back back and we say goodbye when I come back so now I am finished with my look and I have some hairs on my finger so I thought I maybe can tell you which colors I use from this Saharan palette I think I know. I used Wadabe Bororo Bororo Yamila Katsina and Shad. And for my lips, I used Blair from Nabla. And this is my finished look, and this is the end of this Get Ready with Me. And I don't know if I am comfortable with putting this up because it feels like I became maybe a little bit more private than I usually am and I don't know if I am comfortable with it but I have done one get ready with me before where I talked about things that I usually don't talk about and a lot of you felt the same way as me and was so happy that I did that get ready with me because it always feels good to know that you are not alone so i really hope that you like this get ready with me if it comes up um, or else i'm just talking to myself right now but i really hope you like this and <laughs> please be nice in the comments and if you want to discuss anything 
Maybe we're used them with Kat Von D, Jeffree Star and Wet n Wild. Maybe just Kat Von D or Jeffree Star or maybe just Wet n Wild or maybe just, yeah. Do it. Uh, be nice to each other in the comments though. Don't fight with anybody. And yeah, I really hope you like this video. And a huge thank you if you watched it all. I don't know how long this will be. Probably pretty long. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!